Okay, wanted to take you through here making some ex changes to an existing um, pipelines with inside a SMAP. Uh, we'll just clean clean up some geometry here to make it a little easier to see everything on the screen. And uh, hide this ladder as well. And we're going to start by taking um, an existing pipeline and adding a T into it as opposed to having a 90 degree elbow. So we'll just edit the sub-assembly where that pipeline geometry exists. Go ahead and start up SMAP. And then we can actually go dig in and grab our 3D sketch and just edit that 3D sketch to add the additional new segment uh, of a new pipeline teeing into this instead of an elbow. We exit our sketch. Then we just need to go over into SMAP and we can actually dig in and if it's easier just select it on the graphics area of where that elbow is. It'll highlight it in the piping tree. Then we can replace that elbow with a T. Right, at this point um, there's one little mate reference in there that we just need to fix. So if we just go into our mates here, delete that con coincident relationship there. And then just mate it in properly here. And uh, and then we'll be in good shape to recalculate our existing. So we'll just create a coincident mate between the axis of the T and the sketch geometry. Now we can't move it. It's fully defined right inside of there. And so at this point, we are ready to recalculate the existing pipeline. All right. So we can see we got a full one single sketch, but not all of those new segments are being recognized. So all we got to do is generate pipe paths. Okay, so it adds in a new segment there. And then, so that we get all of our spacing around the T uh, correct, we're going to go ahead and recalculate the original pipeline. That'll just take a couple of seconds, and then we can actually apply what size and type pipe we want there. So we have the flexibility to even pick a different style if we wanted to. But at this point, all we need to do is spe specify the spec and the size. In this case, it's going to be a 100 millimeter piece of pipe. And now we have our new piece of geometry, uh, the T, added in without eliminating any existing prefabricated parts or equipment. Now, let's look at a different little scenario here. Let's jump over here to this other pipe, um, very close to it. And we'll look at uh, a similar um, challenge that you might run into in the fact that instead of replacing an existing elbow, we want to just join in another pipe run right in there and instead of replacing all we need to do is very similar to before we just add in the new um, sketch segment editing that 3D sketch draw in the uh, the joining T area doesn't matter where I put it I don't have to split the geometry of the sketch or anything like that I just draw an intersecting line and then again generate pipe paths now that we have a pipe path generated, the system, once we recalculate that um, ex original pipeline, it now will know, hey, there's another pipeline teeing into this. I need to insert a T there automatically. And at this point, we can now just finish off that new teed section of um, what size we're going to be working with on that one. So again, very easy to, to make these changes with inside a SMAP all along the, the way without deleting any existing geometry or any existing equipment, sensors, valves that you might already have. All right, so this hopefully will help you um, become more proficient with SMAP.